Line five, uh, Will in Oklahoma City, where we both were last month. Yeah, it was a it was a very nice time that we had. You guys have some lovely hotels and convention centers, and that's most of what I saw. How are you? <laughs> oh, doing fine. Did you um, are, you're you're a believer, right? Yes, I am. Were you aware that there was a a teeny tiny atheist convention going on in your city? Um, no, no, I wasn't aware. Yeah, <laughs> get your PR guys on that uh, uh, American, American atheist. atheist. <laughs> anyway, go on. How are you today? Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, they they told you I'm a Christian, right? Uh, I saw a short note on the uh, from the call screener, uh, but not a lot of details. So, uh, what's up with you? Yeah, I wanted to call in and say why I believe the Bible's true, true and why I think there's evidence. Excellent. Go Can't for wait. It. Uh, well, my first, my, my first um, evidence would be is um, all the missionaries that go into other countries to spread the gospel. Okay. And it just seems to me that if it wasn't true or wasn't reliable, that they wouldn't make the time or effort to, you know, well, overseas and you know that atheists don't deny the existence of Christians, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I know that. Okay. I mean, and, and I mean, are you aware that other religions do the same thing? They send missionaries. Uh, I didn't think they did it as much as Christians did. Uh, some of them do. Some of them don't. It is the uh, uh, is the number what determines the truth. You, you want to see missionaries uh, talk to people who are are enthusiastic about Bitcoin. <laughs> And Jehovah's Witnesses knock on every door. Oh yeah, all the time. The Jehovah's Witnesses are way more active than so you guys. They're you, smaller, you need but to, they're 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 real yeah. busy. So based on your logic, you need to convert to Jehovah's Witness. Well, I would also say though, uh, a lot of them are willing to lay down their lives. I mean, Christians have been killed in other countries for the gospel, and right. it just seems to me that if it wasn't true, why would they die for it? Some guys flew well, into a building. For their beliefs, does yeah, that make they, them right. They really, really believe it, but that does not make it uh, that that does not make their belief accurate. Um, well, true. I mean, martyr, martyrs have died for it over the centuries for the Bible, and I just okay. It just seems to me uh, that all these people wouldn't have been willing to die. Well, I don't know if you caught what Phil said, but uh, how do you feel about the nine eleven hijackers? Well, they yeah, they were Muslim, uh -huh. and Christian, but they were willing to they die were, for what they believed. They in. They did die for what they believed in. So, based on your logic, you should be Muslim. Well, I think another evidence is. Just that what, are we, are we move, Are we changing the subject that, from that, that one now? That, that's two strikes and no balls. So, give us your third one. Go on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, there's a man I listen to on Christian radio. His name is Andrew, Rome Andrew Womack, and he said that his son's dead body was in the morgue for five hours, and he prayed, you know, he prayed to, to God for him to be healed, and his body was raised from the dead. I find that difficult to believe. I mean, I don't think he would lie and make it up. Well, uh, there are a variety of reasons why people say things that are not true. And not all of them are because they are deliberately lying. Uh, in a lot of cases, I mean, we talked about Muslims and Jehovah's Witnesses a minute ago. I do not think that Muslims and Jehovah's Witnesses are lying about the things that make them take those religions seriously. But they are still mistaken about the things that, uh, that lead them to believe that those are the one true faiths. You would agree with that, right? Yeah. Well, I think what I'm noticing is the pattern in the three examples that you've given us is maybe um, a lack of ability to understand evidence. Um, the number of people that believe in something is not evidence for its truthiness, for its truth. Uh, their devotion to an item doesn't mean that it's true, and a testimonial story doesn't mean that what that person believes is true. Uh, what you need to have is actual documentable evidence, uh, not a story. Can you, uh, 
Are you yeah. are you familiar with Andrew Womack? No, I'm no. not. And actually, I'm Googling him right now, which I know is great TV. But uh, can you tell me more details of this story? What, uh, like, what did the son die of? And uh, when was he declared dead and so forth? I, I don't know the details, but okay. he's preached about it several times and he said yeah. that his his body was in the morgue for five hours because right. i would also assume if you're in the morgue for five hours <clears throat> that you're locked into one of the little chambers well and i, that, and I don't want to speculate too much on the details yeah, of the story because it may not matter uh, <laughs> uh but and he, he said that yeah. his son came back to life but it sounds like all he had to do was say that and uh, uh, and you believed him and were immediately convinced that this was good evidence. Although I assume you were a Christian before you heard that story, right? Oh yeah, I've been a Christian all my life. Right. Okay, so, so it's so not that the story itself convinced you, it's that you heard the story and it uh, dovetailed with something you already believe and so you found it easy to take that seriously. Uh, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't find it easy to take seriously, at, n at least not on this point, or not, not yet. And the fact that you don't know any details doesn't help me all that much. Okay. Um, I think another thing I can tell you is okay. the nation of Israel. Yeah. Um, the other, you know, Arab nations and, you know, the terrorists that want to take them out, they can uh -huh. never take them out. And, I mean, that tells me that God's looking after them. Well, I mean, Israel was gone for a couple of thousands of years before it was uh, specifically reinstituted as a place by a bunch of people who were uh, interested in fulfilling that prophecy. And based on that logic, you should be Jewish. So you've got well, Muslim, there is Jehovah's that. Witness, Jewish. Um, so I, the other thing I think is very interesting to me is that if you have evidence that's disproven, you abandon it immediately and go to another evidence and it's disproven and you go to another evidence. Uh, how many of these do you need to show that your logic has got some problems with it? Well, I think there's all kinds of evidence out there. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know you do, but it just seems like you don't. You're not really willing to to go into detail on any one of them because as soon as we bring up something that might be problematic about your uh, uh, logic, instead of uh, holding on to it and responding to that, you all you just change the subject. And and by the way, uh, 100 <laughs> really bad arguments does not equate one good argument. Okay. Well, um, about the nation of Israel, there was the Six Day War in 1967. Yeah. And oh. what, wasn't there? Was so you know those other nations were wanting to take out Israel, and they were stopped by soldiers and, like, fighting them and right? bombs and jet fighters. Yeah, I mean they weren't stopped yeah. by some uh, uh, magical hand yeah. reaching down and you know like Monty Python <laughs> or something uh, uh, you know grabbing their planes out of the sky. There was an actual war with people on the other side and the other people won. I mean it it may have been unlikely to have that particular side win, but I mean as football fans know, unlikely things happen all the time. Uh, especially in the, it, I mean, you know, and it's less unlikely because, uh, well, in more recent times, they've had the undying support of the United States government, which tips the scales a little bit. But uh, I, I cannot remember the Six Day War well enough to say uh, what the circumstances were in that case. But it didn't seem to be God in that case. It seemed to be an effective army. Well, I did. I did watch a video on it, and they said that there uh -huh. were visions of angels or something that stopped the uh, enemy. Okay. Did the video include from... any footage of the angels? That would be convincing. Not, Not actual really. footage, but yeah. people, talk, people talking about it, saying it happened. Yeah. But again, people talk about what they expect to receive in Muslim heaven. People talk about a lot of things. And Christian countries have lost wars before. That's true too. And Muslims have won wars. That is also true. Okay. And the Crusades didn't uh, go very well either. Yeah. Are you familiar with the concept of speaking in tongues? Yes. 
And I got to tell you, if that's the next one you're going to, I'm going to advise against it. Uh, but you can if you want. Uh, and uh, let's say that this is going to be the last topic and the next time you would like to change the subject. Uh, I, I think it's getting close to time to move on to another caller. Uh, I've seen people, you know, like at the altar at church who just start weeping. I mean, they start mm -hmm. weeping uncontrollably. What, what, what would make them just start crying all of a sudden? Maybe I mean, they took a hard look at their life. I, I don't mean to be <laughs> flippant. <laughs> But people cry at weddings uh, too. Does that? Yeah, I I just cried a little bit at uh, Avengers: Infinity War. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm starting um, to tear up over this call. So yeah. I'm <laughs> well, and and Infinity War is like I didn't e I even knew that none of it was real. <laughs> uh, what? Like it it's not like I. <laughs> it, I had a vision of Spider Man. Yeah. Are you telling me that that's not? <laughs> Uh, but, but I mean, people crying is not uh, uh, evidence that they are believing something true. I have firsthand experience of that, is what I'm saying. Matter of fact, you can watch uh, your favorite sports team lose a game. I've seen people cry over that. Yeah. But it only happens while they're worshiping during the service. I mean, they can walk in being just totally normal and calm, and then all of a sudden they just start weeping while they're yeah. singing. I, nope. have a, I have a suggestion for you. We want to find a movie called Marjo. And Marjo is a story about uh, a young man who, at the age of seven or eight, started becoming a preacher. And he did this until he became 18 and then stopped, lost his faith, and then came back to preach to show people how it worked. And the documentary shows uh, how the music and the sequencing and the timing plays on all these emotional responses that humans have and how people would end up getting worked up emotionally and psychologically to the point that they would cry and give away money, which was the ultimate purpose of his, uh, of his missionary work, to collect money. But it goes through and you might have a better understanding of how a religious service works from that perspective. You might find that uh, entertaining and enjoyable. Hmm. Well, anyway, people falling down, falling down under the power of God too. They fall when the pastor prays. Yeah, I don't doubt they fall. Right, they do that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I uh, thank you for your call. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Will. And right. uh, nice okay. talking to you. And sorry, right. we're not convinced yet, but it was a good conversation. See ya. All right. Well, I'll pray for you. Bye bye. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, I'll let you know if it works. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah.